They were among the first to receive the COVID-19 vaccine in Canada. Earlier this week, our colleagues at Omni News caught up with two healthcare workers whose historic inoculations were seen across the country. It was a moment particularly significant for Canada's Filipino community, who for decades has played an integral role in Canada's healthcare system. So in that moment, um, there's a lot of attention toward you. So you're very nervous. I'm very nervous. Um, and then I got this the, the vaccine, and it didn't hurt at all. Lucky Aguila is a registered practical nurse. He began working at the Rakai Centers on Sherburn Street back in May when the long-term care home was in COVID-19 outbreak. We worked double shifts, sometimes um, going to 24 hours just to care for our patients, our residents. He was one of the first five to be inoculated in Ontario. Personal support worker Cecile Gatiera Lasco was another. She too works at Rakai. I experienced working on the floor by myself. Then later on in the middle of the day, one of my partner came over. So it's quite difficult. It's scary. I don't hesitate to, take, to say yes because I know this vaccine will come to take me on my job. PSW Anita Kidangin was the very first in the province to get the shot. All three are of Filipino background, and it's no coincidence. About one in 20 caregiving professionals in Canada are Filipino. Even Toronto's top doctor counts herself among them. I am incredibly proud to be part of the Filipino Canadian community. When I think about uh, Filipino culture and its um, compassion and caring is fundamentally at its core. According to the Canadian Institute for Health Information, over a third of internationally trained nurses in Canada are from the Philippines. Their intake dates as far back as the 1950s, when hundreds of thousands of migrants began leaving the Philippines to work in other countries, mostly in health care. Filipino nurses were recruited to work in Canada because of the labor shortages in nursing during that time. In the 90s and, and, and 80s, um, they were de-skilled, um, and their nursing accreditation no longer uh, is no longer accepted by Canada. So many of um, these university-trained nurses, teachers uh, from the Philippines go through um, the Living Caregiver Program to be able to work. But though it was a source of pride to see those frontline workers receive vaccinations first, advocates say there is more to that moment. It highlights the vulnerability of frontline workers, especially those working in long-term care homes. Um, we must continue uh, to remind and demand the government in the provincial and the federal level um, to genuinely address working conditions in long-term care homes. Sarmiento says that includes ensuring job security and livable wages. At the time of vaccination, Rakai's personal support workers were still waiting for the $3 an hour premium that was promised to them by the provincial government in October. Officials said it would be coming soon and paid retroactively. Lucky says he experienced a little fatigue after the shot. Cecile, a minor headache. They now feel fine and have this advice about getting the vaccine. I encourage him to take this vaccine because if this um, vaccine can help us, uh, through those uh, what we have experienced at before, why they don't take it? I would advise them um, not to uh, be hesitant. Um, it's their choice as well to take it, um, but we need to start somewhere. Erica Natividad, City News.